What's going on, everybody? I just watched Alien Romulus. Yes, the Alien franchise is back, directed by Ferdy Alvarez, who has done movies like Evil Dead, uh, Don't Breathe. So he's got that resume of jump scare type of movies, and he did a good job. I thought he did a good job in giving you excitement and jump scares in a movie. That's the good part. The song also, the score, that's another good part of this movie. I think they did a good job of, you know, there are times where you feel that song, that the sounds, the effects, and then there's dead quiet silence because in space you can't hear anything. There's no sound. So you get all those moments and that really makes a big difference in elevating a movie at certain times and you need that so i thought they did a good job of that um like i said with alvarez you've got certain scare factors thrown in there throughout the movie to keep you on your toes and being focused on it i got to actually watch it in a, a screen x with two side screens attached to it to give you a more of an immersive feel uh, it turned on certain times and didn't turn on certain times so it wasn't that immersive kind of annoyed me more than it actually got me immersive but where this movie really lacks is the writing the way to end the movie how to putting it all to a close wrap it up in a nice little bow they started off well you started to feel for the character you started to understand the characters and wanting them to achieve but then you also look at how these moments come to be so easy for them in certain parts you know I don't want to give it away with spoilers, but it just felt like things started off way too easy um, and got really, you know, at a climactic point. They picked up things way too fast for who they are. These certain things kind of bother you towards the end. And then the decisions they made to how to finish this movie, because you got to remember, it's kind of wedged. It's wedged in between one and two aliens, one and two. So it's one point five. So they got to make sure that not a lot of this information is you know to be known by movie two because in movie two there's no reference to any of these characters right and they do have some easter eggs so if you're an aliens fan you're going to notice some easter eggs but i just felt that the closing of this movie and the way it kind of progressed it just got worse and worse i really think the writers are the biggest issue here they let this movie down there was enough here with all the other people that i think they did their job the actors did the job i think the director did a decent job and obviously the people who did the score did a decent job. Even the cinematography was beautiful. They had practical stages, which was a massive difference when uh, when we're inundated with CGI these days. You know, sloppy CGI ruins a lot of movies. So if you look at all those, you know, positives, you could say that this movie is a pretty decent movie, but how they put it all together was the massive difference where I just thought it let us down. Uh, there was parts where I was kind of laughing and I'm like, this is the best you guys can come up with at the end. So it was disappointing in that aspect. My score for this movie, I'm going to have to give this a 6.5 out of 10. It did a good job. You know, if you love Aliens franchise, you love jump scares, and you're probably going to like it more than me. But in terms of the entire story itself and how it all came about, I thought it was lackluster in that department. Anyways, I hope you guys like this spoiler-free review. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button and support us. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye. This place gives me the creeps.